Welcome back to Fallout New Vegas. Our next quest is to look for Dean in the Tampico Theatre. Which is this one here, I believe. In we go. Alright, looks quite nice in here so far. Is that ghoul still alive? Correct that. Or break him. Alright. Uh, a terminal. What does this do? Uh, sterile. Two out of seven. Statues could be. Indeed. What could we do with this terminal? i got... Right, shows list. Uh, let uh, Vera Keys, Dean Domino, Joey Baxter and Wilfred the Wizard. Uh, hooray, best time of your life. Right, performance protocols. Uh, doors, hologram sentries on, ambient audio on, stage audio off. Performance in progress. Doors closed, hologram sentries off, ambient audio off, stage audio on. Am I supposed to remember this? I don't know. I can always come back. Lobby security code. Okay, I've got that. Urgent message for Mrs. E. Saints. Uh, just hide until I get there. Do whatever you need to do. Understand, I'm not going to let anything happen to you. 10, 23, 77. That's the day the bombs fell. Everything exploded. There's smoke. Holograms are firing at people. We can't get out. John, please. Oh, that's scary stuff. Uh, cash register. Yes, I feel a bit better now. Uh, cupboard's empty. Toolbox. Bit of scrap. An intercom I can't use. Okay. Which way? Beep. Okay. Let's maybe not go that way then. Uh, oh, oh. Beep. Beeps everywhere. I'm going to return my cigarettes because uh, I'm struggling for weight at the moment. Okay, let's get back out of the beeping range. Okay, let's have a little look at the map, see what direction. Right, we want to be aiming sort of the centre of this room. So let's just quick save and go right through the middle. No. Alright, let's try going around this way. Got a locked door. Time stands still. Okay. Right. So if I stand here, the collar isn't beeping. Uh, okay, I think these speakers are shielded. I think they can't be destroyed. I'm going to quick save and run for it. Uh, can I go through here? No, need the key. Oh, that's bad news. This is very bad news, guys. Whew. Made it out. Right, another speaker there. One there. Okay, let's try going around this side. Through this door. Oops. Search for the backstage key. Okay, can I get up onto the stage? Alright, this will do. Uh, beep, okay. Beep there. Beeps everywhere. Goodness me. Um... Okay, I can try... Now that door was inaccessible. What are my options? I couldn't get through there. Um, maybe up there? Okay, let's just reset my beep. Let's try running up this stair here. Nope, that's bad. Boom blows my head. over there. Where's Partitures? My key slides out. Oh, did I just get it? Finally, a friendly face. Hey, partner, up here. The in a bit of a predicament here. Had to duck backstage, take a powder. The audience is a little murderous tonight. All right, Dean. Um, how did you get from the gala event to here? I was already halfway off the rooftop, through the service tunnel and making a break for the gate before the light show started, and before Vera finished her gala speech. I knew what had happened with music in the streets and lights in the sky. 
ghost people. Lots of them. Also meant the front gate was open. And no way was I missing it after all these years. Then I walk in and... Casino security hit you like it hit me when you reached the lobby. No idea. Woke up here, thought I was dreaming for a second. Right back on the stage, the mic. Thought I was back at the fronds. Well, except no audience used to pack theatres back then. So, stepped up on the stage, checked things out. Then suddenly, holograms walked out of the wings. They started raising their hands to their heads, all creepy-like. Yeah, I've met them. Not a good sign. Uh, I didn't see any security coming in, only the speakers. Look, those ghosts are going to come out of the wings behind you in a second. The security types, not the friendly, bald types. Oh. And if you got in here, the door's probably locked tight behind you. So don't back up or run for the exit. You're not going to make it. Trust me, as soon as you can, run to the door to the left. Use the key you got out of the music rag there and camp out. As bad as things are, it's going to get a lot worse if either of us pops. Right, so I'm so going to be against the clock here. Until we get a better plan. Wait, I need to head to the door to your left or my left. What? Oh, uh, my left. You're <laughs> right. Useful. So, yeah. Run to the door on your right. <laughs> Almost got you killed there. Us killed there. Oh, Dean. Um, Dean, the theatre speakers are wired to a central sound system, right? Yeah. Y yeah, so what? We got bigger problems with the holograms. No, uh, no, wait. You're right. The theatre piped music and sound backstage, which means those little squealers are in the corridors back there, too. Um, calm down, think. Do you know specifically where? Uh, let's see. Um, once you break right, right, watch each turn in the corridor. One will be on your right, past my dressing room. And on your right, past my dressing room. Oh, uh, my dressing room. <sighs> May have left the radio on, right by the table. Uh, if you could just shut it off and. I can't of keep track of all this. Uh, never mind. And there was a speaker in the prop room, too, on the wall between the entrances. And, well, walk slow. There's bound to be more. That's the radios and speakers. What about a central sound system? The speakers are all controlled by a central console. It's the farthest from the only door out of here. So you'd need to do a full circuit of the corridor to get to it. Once there, you'll need to shut it down, and I don't have the code. I think I have if the code. If you have the code, you can turn off all the speakers, make them settle down. Getting backstage should buy us time. Just take it. I'm safe. terrified. Uh. All right, I'll break to my right head for the locked door. Good. Go, and don't get yourself killed. Do that, and we're both done. All right, run. Through this door. Okay. All right, I'm not beeping. I can quick save here. I do see a little bit of red cloud there. That's not ideal. Uh, okay, let's... Oh, beep. There's Dean's dressing room. Oh, there's a thing. Right, can I destroy that one? Uh, okay, take your time, Pete. Take your time. Play it cool. Police pistol. It's still beeping. Oh yes, he said he's had a radio. Hey, you found my old room. Yes. I mean, it's a little small. <sighs> okay. And hey, watch the hands in there. I remember what All right, I quick save. Everything. Hmm. Dean's safe. Will it be cross if I go in there? He might be. He's not looking though, is he? Um. Well, let's let's maybe leave Dean's safe alone. Take those though. Those aren't owned. Right. Oh, that's a hologram emitter. Repair 100 required. Mm. Alright. More beep. Where's the beep coming from? It's still beeping. Run back. Oh. 
no, couldn't get back in time. All right, let's uh, let's just run along the corridor. Try and get out of range of that beep. No, what about in there? What about in there? What about this? Uh, power of ambient audio system. Too late. Okay, I'll get it next time though. Okay, so out the door, run down the corridor, beep, 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 use this, power down the audio, beeping, no, what did I miss, what was I supposed to do, okay, uh, let's just review the quest log, find a way to disable the Tampico's hologram security, so where, where is that on the local map? That's in that room there. All right, let's see if I can identify where the beeping's coming from. That. All right, yeah. Cool. You're creepy. Maybe I can shut down. Okay, we can turn off that at least. Still beeping. Get away from there. Right, what were you wishing about, Dean? Ooh. Let me just get away from that beep. Let's disable that. Alright. I can't get through here, can I? Can I get through here? No. Right, get away from the beep. What's my next step? I need to get into that room. Beep. Alright. First thing I'm gonna do is take out that. And the other thing is here we go, Vera's backstage key is there. So now we can go into Vera's room and there's gonna be a speaker of some sort in here, isn't there? Radio, there we go. Hey, you're making real progress. Good. Take Dean Domino's saw her yesterday. Okay. Vera's master key. Sexy sleepwear, why not? Another bobby pin. A uh, meeting people magazine. Yeah, I'm helping myself to this stuff. No one minds. Uh, what's in the wardrobe? Um, no, I won't take those. Okay. Bunch more bobbies. Might be some first aid. Take all those. Uh... All right, so now can I go through here? No. All right, what's my next goal? Okay, out there. Okay, so the speakers are off. The coast seems to be clearish. Something's going beep. Where's that pointer pointing me to? Is it on the other side of that door, maybe? Okay, that's... Oh. 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 How did I get away with that? Right, okay, my, my quest log updated in some way. Search for the backstage kit. I think I've got that, haven't I? Play Dean's holotape at the Tampico's hologram projector. Let's give that a whirl. Oh, Mentats. Uh, he's yellow. Hologram projector. Are you back here? I'm beeping. I'm scared. I uh, don't know where I'm going. Right. Play it cool. So we've got two markers. One of these is the hologram projector. And one of them is the backstage key, it would seem. So, oh, the hologram projector. Oh, it's up there. All right. How do I get up there? Well, up these stairs, I suppose. Can I get through this door? I can. Okay, I can activate that. Uh, yeah, let's play Dean Domino's holotape if I saw her yesterday. I don't know why. Um. Oh, there we go. Oh. Oh, that's nice. Lying Congressional 
dial. Yes, I want to pick up that before we leave. That's a, a speech skill book. That gives me four more speech. All oh, right, so these guys are friendly. Uh, we can head backstage then. Now, oh. deal with the ghoul. This has gone on long enough. Still saying to search for the backstage key, but I think I found that. Oh man, nice job. Oh, those electric ghosts aren't the kind of audience I like at the best of times. At least the ones in the villa had manners. Don't even know how I ended up here. Guess the casino still recognizes guests, even after all this time, huh? <laughs> How's that for history? Are you all right? Yeah, now. Talk about a captive audience. Or captive entertainer. Ah, whatever. Look, I'm more about the short goodbyes than long, thankful speeches. But I appreciate you bailing me out of a tight spot there, partner. I know you didn't do it out of the goodness of your heart. So let me give you something a little more practical. A way we both come out ahead. What do you mean? I'm not an idiot. I know the reason I'm in here now is because of the old guy. And you. And you're wearing a collar, so I trust you a little more than the old guy. He's more controlling than I'd like. Thing is, here's where being my partner pays off. See, I know how to get into the casino vault. What do you mean? There's a private elevator, Sinclair's elevator. It's up in the executive suites in Vera's room. Not a coincidence. Vera. She was my other partner before the bomb. Took some legwork. Some convincing made it happen. How so? Sinclair was already puppy-eyed, so all I had to do was the introductions. She smiled. Fluttered her eyes, showed a little leg, and he built this whole place for her. Oh, made her the key to his vault, like a joke, cause of her name, her fake Hollywood name. Except Sinclair didn't know I'd been there first. I could twist her whatever direction I wanted. Go on. All she had to do was get inside the Sierra Madre for the gala, then use her voice to open the door. After that, smooth sailing would have been the biggest heist in history. Sinclair left holding the bag, ruined. So what happened? The bomb. Vera got sealed in here. Oh. A few hundred years go by, give or take. Almost the end of the story. Then you came along. Now we finish the job. Rob the Sierra Madre, rip out its heart. Last chapter of Frederick Sinclair. Close the what was your problem with Sinclair? Problem? All high and mighty. Lording it over everyone. Acting so self-righteous, like nothing could touch him. He was the one with the problem. Never got mad at anything, nothing seemed to shake him. Even after his life kept getting dragged through the dirt. Always kept looking for the bright, shining future in everything. So, I decided to take everything from him. That's not very nice. Uh, but what did he do to you? Um, the reason why I'm not clicking these is because basically Dean's got a really fragile ego. And uh, I believe that clicking on something like that might cause him to just turn and start shooting at me. Which I'd like to avoid seeing as I've come this far. What did he do to you? Do to me? What, weren't you listening? He thought he was better than me. Don't believe me? Look around. This big casino. 
This big, colossal monument. Think it was for some woman? No. All ego. All self-righteous in lights. Fit him perfect. Had to take him down a few pegs. Bring him down to my level. Begin again? Some things you don't get up from. I was going to prove it. I think Dean's kind of the baddie a bit. Um, so you're going to prove it now? How? I didn't know at first. Then the old man showed up. You showed up. Then that woman showed up, covered in scars. Christine, I The presume. one who makes all the hand yeah. signs, a little tight around the corners of her mouth. I put her in the clinic, tuned oh. her like an instrument. If she heals up, it's not going to be her voice speaking anymore. Yeah. That is, if the you Sierra creepy Madre didn't get her. bastard. If it did, well, there's enough of Vera around for me to spend a few years piecing a book together. And if she is alive? Then she can make some beautiful music. I'm not banking on it. So here's the short of it. Piece together Little Miss Viriki's song in the right order. Sierra Madre opens its legs when in business. All right, I'll head out and see what I can do on my end. Go, knock yourself out. I'm just going to catch my breath a bit. That performance, well, more pressure than I was expecting. There we go. Quest completed. Is there anything good up here? Stage terminal requires key. It's broke. What about up here? What a helmet? Which will probably put me over encumbered. No, not quite. What about down here? I can go round and round. Uh, all right, things are okay out here now. All right, so I guess uh, the remaining quest to be done is to find Christine in the executive suites. Oh, squish. Now, I wonder if there's going to be more ghost people in the lobby. That would certainly seem very likely, wouldn't it? Let's get the bear trap fist at the ready. Another fragment. Good. Yeah. Almost have the entirety of what I at least need one. from the music archives. Once you have the last fragment, you can thread the archives together at the main floor terminal. And next one. Oh, you're very close. Are there any more out here? I can hear one on the stairs. Right. Yep, there's one more. It's the sound that gives them away. I think I'm still hearing one. Oh no, it's just the ones outside. Uh, right, another bear trap fist. Thin red paste, thank you. And what about the two up here? One more bear trap fist. And nothing worth having. Right, we've got, we've got inventory issues once more. Um, uh, I'll, I'll figure something out between episodes. Um, one thing I think I would also quite like to do is go into the casinos and do a bit of gambling. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go up to the blackjack table and get myself filthy, filthy rich, which is something I'm pretty good at doing. So see you in the next episode. Bye-bye.